Are people becoming obsolete? A giant electronic brain has started cogitating at the University of Pennsylvania. It's made a vacuum tube like your radio, and it can add up a column of figures a yard long in a second. It's the world's first electronic computer. Right now, it's solving mathematical problems for the U.S. Army, but who knows? Someday a machine like this may check up on your income tax. So imagine the human abilities as kind of a landscape with some peaks, which, which, are, which are the things we do well, and some valleys, which are the things we do really, really badly. There are things that we do extremely well, which are things that were important in our survival for, for most of our evolutionary history, things like moving around and socially interacting and, and perceiving the world. And there are things that we have only recently learned how to do, uh, things like general reasoning, an extreme example is arithmetic, where we are very, very, very inefficient. Computers are different. They are universal machines. Uh, with an efficient program, they can do almost any one of these tasks equally well in, in some abstract uh, informational sense. So the uh, skill of computers can be likened to a water level that's, that's uniform. The water level is rising. <laughs> And it's rising at a rate that is about 10 million times faster than the rate at which we evolved those abilities. That and a, and a number of other calculations lead me to believe that uh, the highest peaks will be covered by this rising flood in less than 50 years. But once the level of computer competence has risen beyond uh, the, best the best human engineers, then there won't be any human engineers. There will be. Uh, robotic or computer engineers. <laughs>